guys. I don't have a lot of time, okay? It's coming. It's coming. And if I don't finish these three horror games in less than 15 minutes, I don't know what's going to happen. This is a game called A Night at Andy's. And we got a little <laughs> clown boy over here. I think he wants to play a game. So let's play. <laughs> Um, uh, get 12, more equals death, okay, hmm, play, what do you want me to do, what do I, what do I, what do you get, oh, okay, um, uh, Am I... Am I even doing this? Okay. I don't understand, dude. What's going... How do I... How do I do this? I have to get 23. <laughs> Am I doing this is the question. Am I the one rolling these dice? Dude, it's very, very nerve-wracking when you point that gun directly at my mouth. Don't do that. Uh... Can I play? I would like to play. Hmm. All right, I get it, man. I get it. You don't have to do this every single time. Uh, we got one. Um, I think this is happening on its own. And I think it's just kind of a random roll of the dice. Because I'm clicking and nothing... Okay, that's three. Andy, relax, dude. Relax. It's not a life or death situation if I can't roll exactly what you want. Can you please roll? Okay, I got six. Um... I don't, I don't understand how to control this. I, I don't think I can. 12. I only have 19 seconds. Do I have to get the exact amount? Is that what you're telling me? If I could get a six. Oh, come on. Come on. Roll. What are you doing? 17. Is it over once I hit zero? I don't understand. All right, I guess we just gotta keep doing this. I don't get how I control the situation at all. It seems to just happen on its own. Okay, well, Andy, what the hell, dude? What are you doing here? I get it, dude. I get it, you gotta, okay. We gotta get this done, dude. I don't have much time here. All right, yep, play, play, play. How do I roll? Do I roll on my own or does it happen for me? I think it just happens for me. I have to get 26. I don't see how this is going to happen. Is this just literally RNG? Is this just literally luck of the draw? Is that what's happening here? Do I got to keep just clicking? All right, I got to get 13. That's not too bad. I think I could get that done. But I have a feeling I'm going to end up rolling more than that. So this is literally just RNG. It's just luck of the draw here. <laughs> is it a right click? Because I just right clicked. I got one. Okay, I got seven. Which means I only need a six. I need six more and then I'll be good. I got one. I only need five more and I'll be good. Oh, I can roll in my own volition. Oh, God. Well, there we go. So it seems like if I press E and the mouse button at the same time, that's when I roll. So I got to get 24. I'm starting to understand a little bit more now and it's becoming less frustrating. <laughs> I thought I just had to sit here and let it happen on its own but apparently not. Hmm. Andy, you're doing some weird physics stuff here. I don't understand. Please stop. You're like slightly hovering over the chair and your hand keeps going through your leg. All right, we've got 11. Um, I'm trying. I think I was wrong about my assumption of how to roll these dice. Is it because I wasn't pressing E? That's probably why. Okay, I get it now. I get it. Mm, give me five. Give me Oh, come on! Okay, okay. So, number to beat, or number to get is 27. So, I can do that. Just keep rolling these. I got five. Eleven. Fifteen. Twenty. If I can get... I just need a six. Oh! 
<laughs> Screw you, Andy, I hate you. I'm glad you're crying. Look at you, you suck. Well, that was a night at Andy's. That was all right. It seems to just be a game of chance and that's it. That's literally it. You just roll until you win. But overall, it does provide a bit of a spooky environment. My God, Andy, you got to relax. All right, I'm going to get out of here because I can't stand to listen to this guy's laugh anymore. Let's play the next game. The next game we have today is a game called Walking Home Alone. I've done it many times, but not in an environment as spooky looking as this. And here we are. Follow the, the lit path home, okay? Well, I'm gonna have to run because I don't have much time here. So I'm just gonna keep it moving. Nothing to worry about. Nothing to be afraid of. It's just a nice stroll through the very loud, crinkly woods with leaves falling and a strange ambiance filling the air around me. Okay, maybe it's a little worse than I was previously assuming. Who am I kidding? This is fine. Look at these lights. Wow. They're lighting my way home. Follow the lit fence. Okay. Um, 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 okay, 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 okay. I'm being chased now by a maniac with a chainsaw. Seems fitting for the location I'm in, but you know something? Doesn't matter. I'm covering a lot of ground here. That's all I care about. As long as I can get home, which is right here. Unlock door with the keypad, code entered 9578. I am not going to be able to do that. Nine, five, seven, eight, and enter. Okay. Uh, nine, five, seven, eight, enter. Uh, <laughs> uh five, th three, four, one, five, three. I'm going to die. Four, one, enter. Oh, 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 what? You made it, but you also died. Sorry about that. This is my first proof of concept game. I wanted to create a good atmosphere in one stressful situation. If you liked it and want more, please let me know and follow me on itch.io. Well, I did like this and I would like to see more. This is just straight up atmospheric up until like the end segment where you're running away. And yes, it, it is a stressful situation. Not really much else to say. I did enjoy the environment. Very well made. The the whole place felt like it was actually a living, breathing place. So great job on that. And getting to the door and trying to put that code in became very stressful, especially when you tried to bamboozle me like that. But I'm too good for that. I'm too good at games. Gaming. I'm a gamer. <coughs> Let's go to the next game. This final game we have tonight is a game called Out in the Shed. This game is made by the creator of This Game is for You and This Game is for You Too, which I also played on this channel. So I'm super excited to see what this one is all about. Let's play. I need to back up my game project, but I left my portable hard drive out in the shed. I need to go get it. Okay. Before I leave, I should get my phone to use as a torch. Gotcha. Oat bars. 100% natural oats for game devs. <laughs> oh, I know who you are. Naughty plush. <laughs> think you're something scary. You think you're something to be afraid of? Well, you kind of are. Where's my stuff? Where's my phone? That is the most uncomfortable looking bed in the world. Okay, I'm leaving. Oh, the doors of my house, they just open immediately. Ah, here's my phone. Taking that. Z or X to toggle the, oh. Z turns it on, X turns it off. Gotcha. All right, Um, I guess I gotta go out in the shed. Whichever way that may be. I don't know which way my shed is, but, oh, here we go. Oh, well, it's nice and dark. Just how I like it. Is this my shed? It's rather large. At least spaciously. Is this a tree? It is. Oh, oh. Um, how do I get into this gosh darn shed? Here we go. Here's the entrance. <laughs> uh, uh, um, uh, uh, this, uh, this. There we go. Great. Now I can plug this into my computer. Let me guess. It's going to want me to come back out here so I can get this. And uh, do other stuff here. You're just giving me a reason to come back out here and get spooked. I know the moves. I know the tricks of the trade. I'm going back inside. Is this different? Is that always how that looked? Maybe I'm just going crazy. Let me pop this thing and thing here. Uh, E. Crap, I left the kid. <laughs> what did I say? I knew the exact thing that was going to happen. Okay, well, let's go outside and get jump scared. 
I already know it's coming. Going in here. There we go. Grabbing the cord, which I could have easily, I could have easily grabbed that while I was out here already. But you know, my my monkey mind has me bouncing back and forth between the walls, so makes sense. Ah, the life of a game dev. You know how it is. I know how it is. And the naughty plush is gone. Where did you go? I know where you went. You went somewhere to attack me. And I'm going to have to go to that somewhere and get attacked. Backup drive located. Backing now. Should turn off the light and go to bed. Okay. All right. Should be an easy night. Let that do its thing. I'm going to sleep. Have a good night, non-existent naughty plush. Ah, that was a good sleep. Oh. And there you are again. I feel like going out and listening to the radio that I could easily have here in my room, but you know how it is. Going outside to get jump scared. I, I know it's happening, dude. I know it's going to happen at some point. I'm going to go in here. There's going to be something waiting for me in here that pops out of nowhere, and I'm going to be yelled at or screamed at. This morning on Pixel Radio, we talking to a Robert Smith who claims to have had some strange occurrences happening throughout his home, so... Uh, Is this supposed to be fun? I can't even hear what you're saying, I, mean, I can't. I have no idea what you're saying to me. What is this? I can't... I can't even leave. What is happening? I can't even hear what it's saying. It's way too quiet. This and I swear one what do I do? Even there at all. He just completely disappeared. What are you saying? Uh, so, mate, are you trying to say that uh, this uh, character on your poster for a video game uh, is alive? Uh, I guess so. I mean, like, like I said, told you, it's been happening, and yeah, I mean, it's been Okay, I can kind of make out what they're saying, yeah. talking yeah, about... The poster, uh, the creature on the poster being alive, uh, yeah. All right, which well, I had a, a suspicion of. All right, so I'm going to play some tunes now, and I'll be back right after the break. <laughs> oh! What the hell? Okay, oat bars. I'm going to get some oat bars. I definitely saw something in my window. It's okay. I'm going inside to get some oat bars and jump scares. Delicious jump scare oat bars. Yummy. Oh, you're there. Well, nothing to worry about. Time to get back to work on my game. I should turn my PC on. How do I do such a thing? There we go. I have to admit, I think something is wrong with my post. <laughs> uh, I have to throw it out. My bin is out in the shed. Another thing that you could have inside your house. But whatever. Here we go, naughty plush. Poster collected. I don't have a good feeling about this whatsoever. I'm going outside to throw this out and also get jump scared. I'm gonna keep saying it until it happens, guys. It's gonna happen. So. Can I, I didn't turn that off. All right, I think I should get to sleep early. That was a bad idea. I'm just gonna go out on a limb and say that that was probably the very thing that's gonna get me killed, but it's fine. Mmm, oh, hey, 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 hey. I'm not turning off the lights tonight. I'm going to bed. Good call. This guy's smart. Bedtime. With the lights on. And that was it. From what I understand, I believe this is the extended version of the game. And I believe the dev is actually working on extending it even more. So it kind of makes sense that it just ended so abruptly like that. But I kind of half expected to be jump scared throughout that. There were a couple of little similar things to jump scares, but nothing like direct. It was all more subtle and in the background, but not a bad experience at all. Definitely an interesting way to do things as a game dev. You know, you would think maybe Everything would be in a drawer or a cabinet or on the desk already. Anyway, that's it for this one. And that's it for this video. If you guys want to try any of the games, I'll leave a link down below in the description. Make sure you go ahead and hit that like button for me. Leave me a comment. Smack that subscribe button down below if you're new to the channel. And as always, I can't wait. Wait, 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 wait. What time is it? It's, it's been way over 15 minutes. It should be here by now. I guess... I guess I'm okay.